What we are going to be doing is to review the President's State of the Nation address. Now, uh, you would recall that he addressed the country on Thursday in Parliament and listed a number of achievements his administration um, have gained. And then also he touched on a number of issues regarding what they intend do, to do going into the future. But the opposition, New Patriotic Party, and several other uh, opposition parties have raised some concerns with what the President uh, decided to call a true state of the nation address. They say they are going to give the real state of the nation address. So later today, the New Patriotic Party's flag bearer, Nanado Danko Ekufuado, will be addressing uh, the press and uh, will be giving his version of what he says is the real state of the nation. I have two guests with me. We'll be reviewing the president's uh, position on a number of issues from security to governance to uh, agriculture, education and health. And then also, we would also preempt or attempt to project into what Nana Kufado will be saying later today. Let me introduce them though we we'll go straight into the discussion. On my immediate left, we have Kamal Dean Abdullah. He is the Nasara coordinator of the New Patriotic Party. And then also we have Theophilos Tetecha. He's member of parliament for Ablekuma Central and a member of the National Democratic Congress. Good morning, gentlemen. Good morning, Martin. And uh, thank you very much for joining us. Let me start with you, Kamal. Um, in what capacity is Nana Kufaru going to address the nation and say that he's going to give the real state of the nation? In the Upper East region, I think some were put together about. Some projects were also mentioned. Clearly, when you go look down, it is something different. The president tells us over 123 or so schools had been built. Okay? Mm -hmm. Clearly, the fact on the ground, and once it's evident based, I would have expected the president telling us that, look, four schools have been commissioned. We are on course to build X, Y, Z. But if it comes out to create an impression that over 123 schools had been built, which is not the case, of course, they will have, will have problems. But then I listened to the four-hour speech with um, some amount of um, cringing, and I was not so happy because lots of um, matters alluded to by the president, trust me, when you go down, it's not the case. When you look at the health sector, I mm -hmm. guess we are going to look at it mm. one after the other. When you look at the health sector, for instance, I would have thought that, yes, if you say you have done chips compounds, you have done X, Y, Z, you have done this and whatever, now you're going to also balance it with what you haven't done or what we are left to do, okay? That would have given us the evidence. As but wouldn't that be for the opposition to check? Um, because he is to tell you the state of the nation and the state of the nation is that he has built X number of hospitals, X number of roads, X number of uh, um, um, uh, schools. My good brother, we have had reports that claims have not been paid okay, to hospitals who meet out um, services in terms of health insurance and all that. We've had that. Mm. I thought that, yes, given at the state of the nation, you don't just tell me I have done X, Y, Z in the health sector. You tell me again that, look, this particular hospital, we've not paid them. Evidence-based, this hospital from the Western region is not, have not received their claim. So we can have okay. that balance. But the balance for me was lacking. Um, again, we had lots and lots of humor created by the president. It's good in the speech therapist to tell you that it's good to have humor in your speech and all that. But when it's too much, you tend well, to well, lose what too the much value. means um, I thought I thought intermittently the president um, on several occasions had to stop to kind of give create some humorous um, as it were um, but uh, was it out of place you have it just wasn't out of it I just said speech therapy is there but yeah. when it's too much you no, tend to lose the significance of the speech you are giving actually did you lose it did you lose that um, to a very large extent, yes. I okay. think uh, to All a very right. large extent, some people thought, thought that, it yes, was, some comedy Okay, was Mr. Mm. Tetechai, um, we have had reports, and our reporters uh, somewhere in the central region has been to a number of institutions that were mentioned by the president. They said that, one, some were incomplete. Two, others had not been touched at all. But according to, and these are places that the president mentioned. So is it that the president told a half-truth or not the entire truth, and how can we justify that? Thank you very much. Uh, I believe that uh, the president told the people of this country the truth. Ne uh, there was nowhere in his speech that His Excellency the President mentioned the fact that 123 uh, secondary schools, these secondary schools, have been completed. Mm -hmm. He never says so. What did he say? He said 123 
day secondary schools are at various stages of what? Construction. It is different from a completed project. And you can, you can, you can play back number, the tape. And out of that number, how many okay. have been completed? I, I will not be able to uh, give the exact, give the exact number as of now. But uh, several of those projects have been uh, completed. He's going to even commission some of them. It came onto the networks. But the president was truthful mm. to say that 123 senior high schools are at several stages of what? Okay. All right. Of hold, hold, your, hold your thoughts there. We'll yeah. come back for you to help us with the breakdown of this. You were helping us understand with specific reference to some of the examples the president gave yeah. when it comes to education. Yeah. And you said that he said 123 schools were at various stages of construction, yeah. not yeah. that they had been completed. completed exactly. You know, okay. And, was and, very and, emphatic on it. And, and, and on that same ground, not only um, schools, but hospitals and the rest. I mentioned an example in the central region where we were told, and there's a, 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 an institution the president mentioned. Our reporter was there and said that it will, it, if even it was under construction, it hadn't reached anywhere, it had just barely started. Well, but they saw a construction going on. But it's different from saying that I bought you a car and I'm, at them, I'm hoping oh, no. to buy you, you see, a car. Um, people were excited with uh, 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 some of the things that the president came up, up, up with. And as, as a result, people were not actually listening to the context in which some of the things came out. Just like we are arguing about the schools that 123 has been. He didn't say 123 schools have been com completed. He did say that 123 secondary schools were at different stages of construction. Okay? Because these are things that you can go verify. And the ones and, that and, have been completed, see, it, it has is, been commissioned. Yes. We've all seen those ones. It is not... It's the same way other facilities that has been budgeted for, which are ongoing, he mentioned those, uh, 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 how do you call it, uh, uh, infrastructure uh, projects. It does not mean that those projects have been completed. So, no, but if, there, if is that not the a difference same, between yeah. saying me telling like so? What I'm saying is, that I the name has just escaped me, but the yeah. president was emphatic that that had been completed. Well, and, if, and if, 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 you, if you could, uh, if you, you know, you, you'll be so, able to, and, and that is not that, that particular is not project, just then I can also, it is not just one of that. Like he said, several media houses have gone to some of these places. Well, let's the let's take mentioned. the Eastern Corridor. Mm -hmm road networks for and, and the, these places the president mentioned had been completed but some of them had not even started well unless you you give me specifics because i can not just the whole whole town mm. this the, the, this are part yeah, of the yeah. eastern corridor mm. oh, really? okay mm -hmm. And, and, and no, yeah, hold on. Yeah. so for that have you are you saying that for that as an example it's all been completed not all he didn't say the project is completed did he say that he mentioned road networks that are ongoing. Mm. That are ongoing. The completed ones, he did mention that this project is completed. You see, but the mere fact that he's mentioned the project and people go and then uh, the project is ongoing, then the president so has are not you said saying the that right thing. The no. president was specific on every ground that this is no, ongoing, this is exactly, completed, exactly, this is yet exactly. to start. Those ones that were completed, he didn't use the word completed. And those ones which were ongoing, he used the word ongoing. Whether a contractor has mobilized to site or not, once that project has been budgeted for, uh, uh, all the necessary uh, documentation that has to be done has been done, then it's an ongoing. Hmm. You don't need to see the physical structure. Oh, really? Oh, yes, of course. So that, so that <laughs> Once you budgeted for it, you started the preparation, the procurement process, they're ongoing. Really? No, I'm just okay. trying you, to you, explain. You, 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 so, that, so, that, so that as I sit here, whatever I conceive in my mind, hmm, I see it as a state of a nation. Oh no 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 that no 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 that is not no 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 that is that is not what we are talking about. The point is that yeah. I go to site to do observational reporting. What I am being told is done there is not what I see. Then I come out to do my report, okay, pointing to the fact that X, Y, Z was said 
to have been, you know, on course. Mm -hmm. I got there and I'm not seeing anything. Then you tell me that no, maybe you have budgeted for it and therefore no, you can no, mention. That means no. it is at the stage of what conceiving to do it, but you haven't done it. Let, let's take an that's example. The, the Kaswa mm -hmm. interchange that is ongoing now. Mm -hmm. If the president says that's ongoing, the is there's something ongoing. is outside. But you go to but site and but, but it just started. But you just started for it on paper. It just started, isn't it? <laughs> anyway. Amaxi, it just started. Mm -hmm. Somebody anyway. will say there's nothing happening there. Okay. You really see. Uh, how do you call it? Uh, no, that, that, uh, that, will, that will be disingenuous. Because if you no. get to Kaswa, you will see work going on. We will work in progress. That will be different from you telling us that someone, a budget, a project has been budgeted for, it's on paper, and therefore you can say it's ongoing. So sign yes, the project. For me, sign the okay, project. Okay, so uh, uh, we look at Salaga, the no, Salaga, you for, for instance, base. For instance, we're told the Salaga market, for instance. The president said that the project, the Salaga Hospital, I beg your pardon, right. the project yeah. was ongoing. Yeah. But our reporters and several other reports we've had is that work has actually come to a halt. So maybe it, it, there was but, but an the, initiation the, and then the everything project, has stopped. The, but the project is, they saw the project. No, there is nothing ongoing there. They didn't see anything? No. They, 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 they didn't see <laughs> anything on the land? I nothing? Am, I am giving you a report no, of someone I, who has that been project, I also know what has happened to that project. What, what, what has happened There's to There's a case it? in court. There's a case in court. So at what point did the case... So is it that the president uh, was misled or was given wrong information with oh, regard no, to no, this? No, because this information is that you he know, said that it is ongoing. Yeah. Then we go there to check and then there is nothing ongoing. There's nothing you, you, at all to show that. You started the project. Mm -hmm. Somebody takes the project, uh, 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 the whole thing to court. So it's a different issue. So would it be out of place for the president to have said that for this project and that project and that project, work has started, but due to A, B, and C, it's halted? Well, that could also be another issue <laughs> to discuss. That so, is but for me, so that wouldn't. I, I, I don't think the president says something that was, uh, in a way, misleading. The people of this country. I'll give not you a typical all. example. What? Hey, wouldn't that be out of place? Anyway. It's not out of no, place. No, 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 no. It's not out of place. No, 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 no. Okay. In, yes. in the entire president's state of the nation address to us, he spent only one minute, 58 seconds to talk of sports. <laughs> one minute, 58 seconds to talk of sports. Mm -hmm. And in fact, he only spoke largely on boxing. Said that they should go to the deal, deal, the minister of sports now, all right? Bukum. Constituency. Bukum. Find out what is happening there. There's a there's going to be a sports co a, a boxing complex or how do you call it yeah built or there is, is is ongoing the project is ongoing and all that sports journalists got to the same only to realize there's nothing going on there. Mm -hmm. we are being told therein that look Senate is sponsoring this and they are building so so and so boxing complex to allow or to open the doors for people who aspire to be boxers to actually realize their dreams that's what the president told us you get there and there's nothing on course Let's look at this uh, is a one project other. <laughs> that he was telling the people the government through SNIT is going to put up. Oh, yet to going to oh, really? no, 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 when was the state of the nation? <laughs> he told Ghanaians what we've been able to do over the previous year and then what government also intend to do mm. in the current year. Mm -hmm. So don't confuse the two. State of the nation. Where, no, where, exactly. Where, where, where. He, he indicated where For we are as at now, that as at now, and then where we are yeah. going. There are two different things. <laughs> so those ones that uh, bordered on where we are going, if you take that one as what we have done, then it's, 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 a, it's a mistake. At what <laughs> level? At what level are we now with the schools that the president mentioned? Yeah, as he rightly mentioned, you know some have been completed. Those ones that have been completed, he's going to commission them. It came on the news; mm -hmm. everybody saw it. Those that are do at we have various uh, stages of completion? Do we have pupils in these schools? Do of we have course, of so course. Activity, you, 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 you know what happened? Um, those ones which were built on schedule that coincided with the opening of the academic year. What the government did was that communities within the catchment areas, the, pupil, the, 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 the schools within those areas were sensitized. Okay? Mm -hmm. So most of the pupils chose those schools 
as their first choice schools. So as soon as the computer placement issue came in, they were all absorbed, into, absorbed those into those schools. So those schools were opened with the full complement of students. And that's one re remarkable thing that the Ministry of Education So is it, is it that these schools uh, that the President uh, has commissioned, the few that he has yeah. commissioned, are fully fitted not only with um, teachers, but they have teaching materials, everything, everything up to 100%. Libraries, ICT facilities, in fact, state of the art. Okay. Well, Schools. anyway, that right, was when you say Everton, I, I, have a, I get a different impression. Where are we today? Mm -hmm. You cannot have a school block put there without access to a resource, the human resource base. As we said today, government is supposed to say to teachers, otherwise, we, there's a strike in the offer. Okay? Where are we as a nation? How well are we treating the manpower that we do have to ensure that development goes on? So in terms of education, yes, you can go put up a structure. You can go look, put everything there. Nice edifice, whatever. Who works in there is another matter. It's just like the chips compound. We go build so many chips compound with 10% of our money, okay, our salary. Yet, as we sit today, over 2,000 nurses are yet to be posted after completion. Well, government this gave, happens. Reason, government gave no. reason why uh, it had suspended the postings of nurses and uh, and some of the reasons were because they wouldn't want them to go according to government they wouldn't want them to go and then the issues of salary and money allowances become Martin, uh, Martin topical. so they want reasons. them to be ready government is sure he has the That's funding and finances mm -hmm. before they post them. what was what 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 used to be the norm what happened along the line at what point did we get our funds depleted to the extent that we cannot even envisage that, look, we need a nurse here tomorrow because we have deficit of even, even their number, okay? What are we going to do to ensure that we augment it? So did we plan? Did we project? So as governance being a continuity, what did we do? So if you admit that, look, I'm not posting them because we're not so sure of paying them, mm -hmm. we're not so sure of getting remun uh, their remuneration to them, then it means that it's an admission of failure on your part because you ought to have projected. No, would it not also <laughs> be an admission of prudent management? Exactly. Admission of what? Prudent exactly. management. Martin, we sit here. Then, in fact, I wouldn't like to go into so much. This government is the government that boasts of getting a lot or have had a lot in terms of money, mm. liquid cash. We're talking about $37 billion in loans, they've gotten it. When well, you take their green book or green Bible, mm. they call it, you realize that the projects therein cost about $7 billion. Ask the question, $30 billion. Where How is? do you come up with these <laughs> figures? No, no, Martin. Painstakingly, some of us will sit down and look at them because we're politicians. <laughs> we need to come out to know what our opponents are doing. We need to know, put, I mean, keep them in check to know whatever is happening to us as a nation. So, for me, if you have all this money and your complaint or your argument is that, look, I'm not too sure I'll get money to pay them, that's why I'm not posting them. For me, I think it's. It's, it's but this, this particular problem, this Let's particular problem with the nurses mm. and maybe teachers has transcended several other <laughs> governments. That is so it is not a, a John Mahama administration specific problem. That, you see, that is why Ghanaians at the point will give you a mandate and at the point will refuse to give you a mandate. Admitted that yes, it has transcended or come a very long way from other governments to us. Maybe that is why MPP was voted out. Let's accept it. Today you are given the mandate by the, by Ghanaians from 2009 till date. What have you done? You came to what compound the situation, worsen the whole situation. Because point is that even nurses who are at post, who are supposed to be working, we recently saw the labor minister going to beg secretary nurses to go back to post because they were not paid for so many months. You see, so some of these yes, things happen. So for me, the health sector. The agri sector. So no, let's remain on health. I mean, I mean, this are a number of concerns legitimate concerns that have been in the news in the last few years uh, the last few months uh, if you we would all recall is it truly a prudent management of the economy or our finances with regard to posting of nurses or it is that we have mismanaged the system to an extent that we are unable to even post people to pay them um, it's very worrying that uh, the MPP uh, in one breath will say government is not managing the resources prudently and then in an, another breath that sues them they will say we are not managing the resources prudently you have a government we say these are nurses that are ready to be posted we don't have the resources 
<laughs> how? How? That's the question. Of, That's really we don't have the resources as well. Look, we don't understand. We, we got to a point where the, where the economy was challenged. Okay? And you had a finance minister who was working very hard to ensure that we, we come back to uh, uh, the norm. Okay? Where external shocks were affecting us as did, a country. Did we have to get to that point where the thing hits us? Or in, in we, could, we have projected and said that this is a looming disaster. This is a looming issue. Let us look at it. You see, in economics, I've always said that it is not what you read in the books. Okay, that is why we have external shocks. There are things that come even you will not be able to predict. Okay, but it, it happens. So, but labor issues. The world all over. No, labor issues no, are something. No, no, things that you can't. Labor. Labor. No, you you need you need no. the resources to pay. And if the resources are not there to effect payment, do you allow the people to go? But and if then, you're talking about the resources, the day, not resources if you're even focusing only on resources to pay, yeah. uh, let's say teachers and nurses yeah. and uh, those that are in organized labor, for instance, there at a point should have been the ability to preempt and say that this is an issue I'm going to have to grapple with. And then you can call them into a meeting or negotiation. You have the government that came into office. That has to implement a, a single spine salary structure. Okay? Look at what the finance minister was. Went it prudent, was, that was, 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 it, was it prudent to money to, to to implement the single spine at that time? At that, at that, mm. that is why we took the uh, installment approach. Okay? Was it we, not to gain political points because no, not at according all. to government that not at all. it was very necessary it was it necessary it was necessary why we, would we, you say we, it was we necessary needed to do it needed okay. to because it is a policy that has been okayed okay by a government that was not able to even i, I disagree oh you yes you I disagree, disagree <laughs> because <laughs> i'm uh, trying I, to I, make I the disagree. people of this country know how it I, started I, no I because we took it if, upon if, ourselves that look hmm. come what may this is what our predecessor has left behind. A mess. But we will not oh, say, really? yes, it was a big mess. Then you ought not to have implementation of the single okay. spine. Then it you was. Have implemented. It was. Because at the time, what, what was the time that uh, uh, President Kufour okay that thing to be implemented? But, I'm asking you. Again, you want me to feel He did that no, at I, the I, time I, that I no, I he to, was packing uh, out of office. Okay? And salary issues are issues that you cannot, as a government, you know how difficult it is. So, okay? could, could so if you could go to the administration, that this is what the then Mills administration could you have been truthful to Ghanaians and then say that this is what we have been asked to do, or this is what we have to do, mm -hmm. but because of A, B, and C, would want to hold on to it or implement it. In this manner, look at you the, think the people, the yes. people who are going to be beneficiaries of the single spine wouldn't have ac but accepted a like oh. you and I were all in this country. You saw the agitation, even uh, uh, how do you call it? The allowances that government said, Look, wait, let me finish with this, and then we tackle that. Look at what happened. But government was very bold, meticulous, and prudently. That issue has been solved, as we let's, talk let's about now. Take a, take uh, us to comment, government. You see. Take us Jalou, to take under us those to. trying moments, we were able to what? Weather the storm. Take us to agriculture. Agri. Yes, the president uh, mentioned that, uh, for instance, in coffee, uh, there's a special attention on coffee because Ghana actually um, is a very viable country that could export, exactly. you know, grow and export coffee. But little attention has been paid to it. So because of that, they are going to do a lot into that. And then also, mass cocoa spraying and all of that are underway. But it seems to be the reverse when you speak to the people who government says it, it is helping. The cocoa farmers, for instance, some have been up in arms against the fact that their monies do not get to them on time and then issues of this spraying is just for a select few. Is that the picture that is really on the ground but uh, we are being told something else? Now let, let, let me start with the uh, coffee issue. Okay, Ghana as a country, uh, previously coffee production was a little bit high. Mm. Until uh, 2008 when it went I think about 1,000 tons or so. Okay. Now, this government decided that, look, coffee is also an area that we can also generate a lot of revenue. Mm. So government put in the right mechanism. And today, it's gone up 
to the olden days where it was around 6,000 tons. And the president says, look, we've, we've, we've actually come to the realization that about four or five regions, when adequately resourced or given the technical know-how, coffee will also match cocoa. Mm. So we invest more resources. It shows you that really the, the president is up to the tax. He knows Coco. what we want as a nation. Coco, because now, I Coco. think that... Mm -hmm. Exactly. Coco, currently what are we doing? We are giving them seedlings, specialized ones, of course, to help reduce uh, the time frame in terms of uh, 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 the, the, the fruit itself coming mm. out of the... So to you, no region. challenge at all has come oh, up. Oh, there are a lot of challenges. Like? There are a lot of cha challenges. But did the president mention that you, you as see? part of his oh, state definitely. of the nation? These things are being done by extension offices, okay? Not all areas will be accessible at the right time. Oh, really? Oh, definitely. The human so, beings so what is the challenge the here which okay. the president mentioned? When it comes to cocoa spray, mm -hmm. government is putting in a lot of resources to enable cocoa farms to okay. be spread. But All the question right. is, let me, let me, within oh. a catchment area, let's say those spraying the cocoa, mm. within the let time me, frame, take, are uh, they able to come out in briefly? Because Martin, our time, yeah, our for, time. One, for want of time, I'm mm. actually indeed going to be very brief. First of all, holistically speaking, I would say the agri sector is completely in shambles. Why? The budget of 2016 by their own government tells us that agri has growth has declined completely to 0 0.04. Mm. Cocoa. From negative Wait a minute. Wait. Okay. Absolutely. No, zero. Okay. No, you must. Yeah. Yeah. Like 0.04. I was expecting the president to mention this. Again, we have imported from the finance minister close to 15,000 tons of cocoa from La Côte d'Ivoire, our neighboring country. Mm. What did we do? That, okay. that was a challenge. Have, have we mentioned it? Yeah. Again, as we sit down, Which means that cocoa at processing least company the, the, is partially the closed down. Nation, we are quiet. So the, 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 the state of the nation when it comes to our That is the state of, of the nation. To you, isn't we I, are completely off. So later today, Nana Kufaro will be addressing the... It's negative. what he calls a negative. Hold on, gentlemen. And then also, TV3 will be covering that event. So then we can put it out there for you, the Ghanaian, to be the final judge.